situation there, once that fifth wicket fell, it looked like there was a lack of awareness in terms of the net runner situation and why that's so important. You guys are obviously not new to this. What were the instructions and why were kind of the guys coming in at seven, eight, nine, continuing to go after every single ball rather than trying to stretch the amount of running over to limit that net run rate damage? Well, I guess net run rate, obviously, um, uh, you still have to score runs. So um, I think uh, if you, uh, if, if, if I think our options were wrong, that's that's the wrong options the batsman took. Um, but I don't think the the instructions per se are wrong when you are looking to score runs. So uh, if you're looking to hit straight boundaries, six runs is six runs less than net run rate. So uh, I don't think um, any of those game plans are wrong. Uh, all of our, our batsmen know what what to do. They um, yeah, they know their role definitions. We, uh, they know they're clever enough to know things like net run rate. So um, yeah, I guess a bad day's cricket you can't uh, really put down down to something like that. In in the context of yesterday, and the, and I think you guys said yesterday though, was there a message sent out at any point during the chase to to stress the importance of guys you need to hold back until seven eight eight nine eight bowl before you go for. I guess it's just uh, about um, getting our, our, our batting in, into a good space, uh, getting our batting into, uh, as you say, taking it deeper. Um, what that means um, is that our batsmen could try and uh, change their game plans. It could be that they want to eat less boundaries. It could be that they try and try different options, hitting more straight, hitting more square. Um, so that the, the batsmen themselves have to figure out. Everyone's got a job, a job in the team to do. Everyone plays a role. Um, so I think, um, yeah, I mean, to answer that question directly, I think uh, if our batsmen are informed, this could have been an, a, a different um, uh, answer altogether. So uh, we've, play, we've played a certain way um, and we probably need to reassess a little bit. Um, and going forward, the, the tournament is still young, so there's plenty of time for the batsmen to, to score big. Uh, obviously, that's the combination we tried to, to go for. Um, we've got Nico Davin and Jay Pickles that we went for as the our openers in the in the in in these two first uh, first two games. Um, yeah, it's just the that's just the, the the combination we went for. We felt again it's a used wicket. Um, the front probably bowls a, bit, a little bit different than me, so uh, on another day he could bowl east four, and I I don't bowl at all. Um, so I mean that's the combinations the the selection has gone gone for. Um, uh, it could change uh, depending on the wickets we play. If we play on other types of wickets, then uh, Stephen Bart might get the nod, um, and your friends might have to sit out or any of the uh, any of the other eleven. So um, yeah, that's the selection selection we went for for these two uh, used wickets. How did you feel your bowlers did overall, uh, considering how the pitch played yesterday? Yeah, I think um, we didn't start off too well. Uh, and if we don't lay that foundation, it's sometimes if the batsmen get in, is uh, often there's very little you can do but damage control. Um, so obviously, after having not started well, uh, we tried to pull it back. Uh, that came a bit late because then it came around the 14th, I think, to 16th over. Um, so all in all, not a good, not a good start. And then uh, it carried right through. I felt we bowled um, just in the wrong length, so either too full or too short. Um, and I mean, just as the batsmen need to own up, the bowlers need to own up um, to that. So hopefully that could be in our next game. Did, did you feel the game was lost more in the first inning versus the way you guys approached the game yesterday? Obviously you want to play the perfect game. Um, so if you want to play the perfect game, then you need to start well with the ball. I do think they, they did get too many. Um, but in saying that, um, it's a small field, so it wasn't as if we couldn't chase 200. Um, but yes, yeah, so, uh, as, as a team, you want to put in a team performance. Um, so the, the discipline you do first, you want to sort of nail that. And once you've nailed that, often the momentum carries into the batting. Um, T20 is a lot about momentum type of cricket. Um, so the discipline you do first, you want to do well. So today we had to bowl, uh, bowl and field first. Uh, weren't good enough in the, in the bowling and fielding department as our first discipline. Uh, and then uh, where the bat again fell short. So uh, that's, yeah, that's about it. 
yeah, we we need some clarity. We obviously need some clarity in our performances. Um, we need to find find the right combinations, get the right guys in. Um, uh, as we see, T20 is very 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 uh, odd game. So next game against Scotland, we need to be more clear. Uh, I think uh, get that freedom back in the team, um, and it could change right there if we beat Scotland. Um, uh, our, our tails might be up again, and we can carry that momentum. Hopefully, peak at the right time of the tournament, uh, and uh, that should be us qualified. So we need to play well for our last four games, and that's it. Yeah, I think uh, it was quite tough to play in the, mor the morning game now, um, but I mean it's T20 cricket, it's three hours of cricket, so we do have the mental capacity to to recover. Obviously, now we have an afternoon and another day off. Um, so that could uh, help us in our recovery time. Um, hopefully, uh, get the mind settled a bit uh, uh, and get that mind positive again for what would be another belting T20 game, I guess. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thank you.